Hey guys, in this lecture we will understand what is static polymorphism. Now before understanding static polymorphism, we should first look into definition of polymorphism. Now polymorphism is one of the pillar of object oriented programming and, and is closely related to inheritance. The prefix poly means many and morph means form. Thus polymorphism refers to the ability of a single type of class to take many forms. Now in C sharp, polymorphism is of two types, static or compile time polymorphism runtime or dynamic polymorphism now in this lecture we will understand static polymorphism now static polymorphism is also known as compile time polymorphism and it is achieved through method overloading so if two methods are of same name and are declared in the same scope they are said to be overloaded provided they should have different signatures now what do we mean by signature of a method we uh, that means uh, the number of parameters, what that method takes, the data type of parameters and ref and out keywords. Now to understand all these points, we should look into our example first and then I will explain you these points. So let's move to Visual Studio. And here in my example, I have a very simple class, my class and it, it, it just has a method which adds two numbers. And this add method takes two parameters int x and int y the data type of these parameters are integers and it returns simple return x plus y now you might have noticed that i have double as the return time of my method and integer as the data type of my parameters now the reason they differ is because of demonstration in this video now i can easily change this to integer data type but the reason i am not doing this because whenever i will uh, in the demonstration i will change the data type of this y or x i will get an error because we cannot implicitly convert double to integer whereas if we have integer in here and double in here so we don't have that error because we can implicitly means our compiler can implicitly convert this returning result to double now let's get to topic of method overloading so suppose i have a copy of this method add which is same as the this first add now the moment i have this second add method i get a compiler error says my class already defines a member called add that means i cannot have this method in here it is already present in here but what can i have i can have the overloaded form of add method that means i can have a method which takes three parameters so this is the signature of this method and the signature of this method is different with the signature of this method. Our first add method takes two parameters and our second add, add method takes three parameters. So as you can notice, the implementation of both the methods, methods is same. So we don't need implementation of method in method overloading. We just need the signature of the method. That means the number of parameters which satisfy our first condition. So let's go back to our slide. So we have covered number of parameters in method overloading. Now second comes data type of parameters. So let's go back and let's remove this integer z. And I am getting the same error. It says that I cannot have this add method. Now suppose I change this data type of y as double. So you can see the my error has gone away. That's because now this add method has again become became the overloaded form of this add method. This means the signature of this add method is again different with the signature of this add method. So the data type of the parameters is also considered to be included in the method signature. And this is also a very good interview question. Uh, often interviewers ask what what do you mean by signature of method? So you can have number of parameters and data type of the parameters now let's move back to our slide the third point states ref and out keywords now let's go back to our example again and let's make this data uh, data type as integer again so i get an error it says i cannot have this add method now say suppose i have a ref keyword attached with it my error goes away this means if you add a ref ref or out keyword in the method it is considered to be overloaded 
सेम गोज विद द आउट की वर्ड नाउ आई गेट ए एर एज सोन एज वी हैव डिक्लेयर आउट की वर्ड दैट्स बिकॉज वी हैव नॉट इनिशलाइज द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई सो लेट मी इनिशलाइज द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई से वन सो द मोमेंट वी डू इट अवर एर एर गोज अवे सो आउट एंड रेफ की वर्ड बोथ पार्टिसिपेट इन सिग्नेचर ऑफ मैथड्स and i have covered this ref and out keyword in my previous lecture of methods so please have a look into those lectures if you are new to ref and out keywords now this covers our third point and let's move back to our slides now if the order of parameters are different then the method is not overloaded let's see this and let me remove this out keyword and let me remove this so that we return to our original state and here we get again the error the old error says my class already defines a member called add now let's try to change the order of parameters and see what happens say y and x and the moment we do that we do uh, we still get that error that my class already defines a member called add with the same parameter types so we have changed the order of parameters but that doesn't participate in method overloading that means the uh, this method is same as this method so this method is not the overloaded form of this method so let's go back to our slide and the next point is the return type of method and the params modifier are not part of a method signature now i have covered the params keyword in my previous lecture of methods so please have a look if you do not understand what do you mean by params keyword actually params keyword is just because uh, to pass an array of parameters to the method so let's try to understand what that point states say suppose if i have a method that takes an integer array and returns an array so let's return try to return an array and i have it it is taking an integer array of type x and what i am doing in the implementation part is just returning that array and same i am doing in here array and let's get rid of this integer integer y parameter and let's try to return this x and let's make this as integer array so the moment we do this i get an error it says the same that i cannot my class cannot have a add method because they are the same method and now let's try to add params keyword and you can see my error is still there that means the signature is still the same with signature of this method that means par params keyword does not take part in signature of method and this method is not a overloaded version of this method so let's move back to our slides so the return type of method and params modifier are not part of a method signature and we have seen an example for it so i have summarized all these points as abc now you can go through them and uh, it's nice to remember these points because these are very important in regards with your interview so uh, we can go through it one by one if the method parameters are different it is overloaded if methods parameter return type is different it is overloaded we have seen both of the examples now if there is ref or out keyword used in methods parameter then it is overloaded now if one of the method is ref and other uses out for same parameter then it is not overloaded and i guess we have not covered this point so let's move back to visual studio now i have changed the uh, these methods accordingly now let's try to make this method as ref and this method as out and let's initialize our y also to move, make that error go away equal to 1 so you can see compiler still treats this method as same method as this method that means this parameter and this parameter does not make a difference compiler treats both of the parameters as same parameters so these two methods are same they are not overloaded and also i have missed one more point so let's quickly see that point that's a very important point so i i should remove this thing and this thing and let's return an empty string 
in here and let's make this return type as string return type. So you can see I have changed the return type of this method and still it doesn't qualify as overloaded method. That means the return type of these methods does not belong to the signature of methods. If you have different return types but the same parameters that method is still not the overloaded form of first method. And this is also a very common interview question that if you change the return type of methods is that a overloaded form or not. So let's move back to our slides. So we were in point number D. If one method is ref and other uses out for same parameter then it is not overloaded and that we have seen in our example. Now if return type of methods are different it is not overloaded and we have just seen that. Now if a params keyword is used in one of the parameter then it is not overloaded and we have seen that also. So these six points are very important in regarding to static polymorphism or compile time polymorphism. Now this is called compile time polymorphism because at compile time we know which method we will be invoking or we are aware of the methods errors in the compile time itself. We don't get any error at the runtime. So therefore it is called compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism. So here are the slides for you. So that's for this lecture. Thank you guys for listening and all the best for your interviews. Thank you.